Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating a very simple gallery. Really we're not even going to complete the gallery. We're essentially going to create the base gallery this here with thumbnails that you can put in your own thumbnails and they are going to have a rollover effect immediately on them. I'm really creating this tutorial in an effort to use it later on down the road to cover more complex aspects of Dreamweaver as far as creating some maybe more dynamic type galleries, using a little JavaScript, maybe some third party scripts, uh, some other things like that, some of the built in spry functionality of Dreamweaver and Dreamweaver CS4 in particular. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to go over. We're going to go over creating that base gallery, which you're hopefully going to see in quite a few more tutorials. And it's basically this simple six image gallery here. It's probably not the most efficient way to create a any said gallery uh, if you're going to be putting thousands and thousands of images. But it, you could use it for quite a few images and uh, it's, it's a nice little gallery. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to tutvid.com and select resources from the navigation bar and then come down here and choose the project files in the project files page you want to download this file right here simple base or simple gallery base pages file I'll probably name it something like simple gallery or simple dreamweaver gallery files something to that extent by the time I get around to naming files I probably won't remember what I just said but it's going to be something uh, like that and this is going to be the zip file you get a background image a glow background image and 12 image uh, actual image files uh, the the large images and thumbnail images now the large images are just kind of a bonus uh, I just kind of threw in there the thumbnail images are going to be the ones we use so I'm going to go back to dream we, by the way, the images aren't that large. They're 200 by 200, the bigger ones. So it's not like a huge downloading time or anything like that. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to preview this gallery, preview it in Firefox, and you're going to see exactly what we have. Well, we basically have this gallery here, which when I roll over any of the images, I actually have the rollover set to change green just so you can really see them. In actuality, you might want to use a slightly more subtle effect. So there we go. That's the uh, gallery. It's a nice looking little clean gallery. We're going to take a look at how to create it. So the first thing I'm going to do is close this page. And now that I've closed the page, I'm going to right click on my site file uh, folder. I'm going to hit new folder or excuse me, not new folder. What am I thinking? Not new folder. Yes, I do want to delete that folder. New file. There we go. And I'm just going to name this uh, gallery. Why not? Gallery .html. Now I'm going to open up that gallery HTML file and as I always try to do, add a title immediately so you don't forget about it. We're just going to call this simple gallery and save it, Commander Control S. Now I want to go back to that WinZip file and I'm going to start dragging these images in. I'm going to select the first two images, Gallery BG and Glow BG. I'm just going to drag them and drop them right on my images folder here, just like so. Drag and drop and you can see Gallery BG, Glow BG, perfect. Inside of my images folder, I've got another folder called Gallery. That is the folder that these six images are going to be dropped into. So I'm going to click and drag and drop them on the Gallery folder icon. It's going to drop them all in there. Lovely. Okay, I'm, I can close these image files up for now because we've got a little bit of editing to do this page first. Now, the first thing I want to do is open up my properties panel and choose page properties. And I want to set the background color of this site. Let me drag this dialog box right over background color. I'm going to say pound BBB, hit tab and hit OK. So it's this nice sort of medium gray. The next thing I'm going to do is hit insert a div tag. And when that dialog box pops up, there we go. I'm going to give this a class name of wrapper. I'm just going to call it wrapper for now because it's essentially going to wrap everything. And I'm going to just select that div. You can see I've selected div with the class wrapper. I'm going to go to my CSS styles panel. If that's not open, you can go window, CSS styles. And I'm going to hit the new CSS style icon. It's like a page with a little plus. This is the new CS for uh, CSS rule. Uh, dialog box and you can see it's automatically chosen the element that I have selected the dot wrapper class item so I'm going to hit OK and we have just created that class now what I want to do is immediately come in here and give this some box attributes the width of this is going to be 744 pixels how do I know I just know because that's the image that I created in Photoshop I remember off the top of my head miraculously somehow no I'm kidding I actually have a little note here that says 744 pixels but 744 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall. And the margin of this guy is going to be set the right and left. I'm going to set 
to auto. What that's going to do is it's going to center this div. I'm going to hit apply and you're going to see, there we go, very nice. Now the margin on the top is going to be 10%. You just put the percent sign right in, it's automatically going to give you the percentage. Apply and there we go, 10%, lovely. I'm going to come to the background category and I'm going to choose a background image. Now that would be that background image that we imported you know, from WinZip. And I'm going to hit site root here, double click images, and I know it's within my images folder. And it is BG, no it's Glow BG that I'm looking for, not BG. Yeah, Glow BG is something different. Or BG is different, excuse me, Glow BG, i.e. Glow background. And we can see right there, 744 by 400 pixels is the width, hit OK. And I'm going to set background repeat to no repeat, and we're going to hit OK. So now I can just get rid of this content there, delete that out of there. And I've got this nice sort of glow with a white box in the center. Now within this div, I'm going to make sure I have that div wrapper selected. Um, I'm going to choose my code view. And you can see I'm right here on this div, div with the class name wrapper. Within that div, I'm just going to make sure I have that selected. You can see I hit enter return a couple, a couple times. Here's the closing div tag. Here's the opening div tag. I want to be between them. And I'm going to insert another div tag. I'm going to insert it at the insertion point and give this a class name of, oh, let's call it image holder. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go back to the design view and we're going to see, yes, in fact, there's a div inside of there. I'm going to select that div, create a new CSS rule, and up pops the menu. Now, this is telling me, look for the class wrapper, and inside of that, uh, we've got dot image holder, that class dot image holder. I'm just going to tell Dreamweaver, you can be less specific, less specific excuse me. Uh, this is a new CS4 thing, less specific. And there we go, just dot image holder. That's fine for me. Hit OK, and we're now going to size this div to the size of this white box, which if I recall correctly is just 600 by 400. This one I don't have a node on, I promise you. I'm just kind of playing it by uh, what it looks like, and that looks about right. I just need to center it up. So I'm going to go back to margin and set the right margin to auto, tab a couple times at the left margin to auto. And when I hit apply, it has centered itself up nicely. I need to apply a background image now, so I'm going to go background image. Again, choose Site Root, and double click on the Images folder. And this time we're going to choose Gallery BG, just double click that. And Background Repeat, we do want this to repeat along the X, because Gallery BG is on one pixel wide, and we just want it to just keep repeating across the X until it can't anymore. Hit OK, and we can see we filled it nicely with this sort of a steel plate with a nice shadow. So I'm going to delete this text, and if we preview the site right now, right as it is, I'm going to save it and just hit F12 to preview it in Firefox. It's a pretty cool effect we have happening. Basically, this piece of what looks almost like metal floating, we've got a nice shadow underneath it because that's at the bottom of our image, and this glow that we applied underneath it to really help it pop off of that gray background and say, look, here's like a tray of my images. So we have this nice plate. Now what we need to do is place some thumbnails on it. And this is pretty easy. Basically, all we're going to do is come into our Images folder. I'm going to shrink my CSS Styles panel a little bit, come into Gallery. I'm going to choose 1th because it's not 1th and 2th and 3th and 4th and 5th. It's actually 1th for thumb. So I'm going to drag one thumb out. And normally, I would give this an alternate text. I can just give it something very descriptive like Image 1. But for the sake of time here, I'm not going to give any of these alternate texts. So I'm just going to drag 2, hit OK, 3, hit OK and four, five, and then last but not least, number six right there. Now if you've noticed that these thumbnails are actually 100 pixels wide, so six of them equals 600 pixels, which is the exact width of our little image holder here. However, I want them to appear in two columns. So what we want to do is create a CSS rule that targets the element styled by the image holder class and further targets any image tags inside of that because after all these are all images. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to select one of these images and I'm going to hit create new CSS rule. You can see that it's automatically going to say dot wrapper dot image holder IMG. Well I can tell it again, be less specific, don't worry about it. Just image holder IMG. So any images within that element being styled by image holder are going to be affected by this rule that we're about to create. The first thing we want to do with our images is apply a border to them. So I'm going to choose border category here. And I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to leave all of these checks same for all. I'm going to first type in solid. Width is going to be five pixels. And the color, we're just going to choose, uh, let's choose the gray of our background here. The BBB, it's actually six Bs, but we, if it's all the same, you only have to type the first three uh, characters. 
Next, I'm gonna come up here to box and I'm going to set some margins. I'm gonna uncheck same for all and my right margin, well, let me start with the top margin actually. The top margin is going to be 60 pixels. The right margin is gonna be 45 and the left margin is gonna be 45. If I hit apply, you're gonna see pretty drastic change out there. Our images have you know lined up the way we want them to line up and they have a nice gray border on them. We can hit okay now and we want to apply a rollover to these buttons. Super easy to do. Right click on that rule in your CSS styles panel, right click, and you're going to have the option to duplicate that rule. I'm going to duplicate this, and when I do that, the duplicate CSS rule dialog box comes, box comes up, basically saying, okay, here's your selector, you want to duplicate it, you got to give it a new name, it can't have that same name. That's fine, because we're going to use what's called a pseudo class selector, and that's adding a colon and the word hover to the end. That hover is a pseudo class and we're going to hit OK and here now I'm going to double click into the CSS style, the image hover and all I want to happen when you hover over this image is the border, I want it to change colors I just you know slightly but for the sake of a demonstration I'm going to do something crazy like bright red I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to save it and I'm going to hit F12 to preview this in the browser you can see when I roll over any image I now have a bright red border appearing around it. And there you have it, a simple base gallery from which we can now build all sorts of cool photo galleries and <clears throat> excuse me, and depending on you know how many images you have, you can expand this gallery, make it a little wider, tweak the margins of your thumbnails to fit more into this small area, make the small area a bigger area. Uh, you know, and just work with a gallery kind of like this. We just built it so you know the ins and outs of the gallery. And it's a pretty simple gallery. It just consists of two divs and a few classes. So nothing, nothing too super huge and uh, a nice little simple photo gallery. More importantly though, something from which in the future we can build on other Dreamweaver tutorials and start looking into the more complex and advanced ways of using some of the, the cooler features of Dreamweaver. So that's it for this one. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you got through it. I hope you have a nice gallery. You're ready to go. Uh, try some of the other videos which will be coming out very soon uh, on how to you know create cool effects in Dreamweaver, cool photo galleries, things like that using this gallery. So go check out www.tutvid.com if you have not already. Uh, that would be awesome of you. And uh, once again, thank you very much for watching.